Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, today we're just going to be having a look at the clone tool uh, and just a couple of tricks as well just to help you uh, when you want to tidy up any unwanted objects from around a picture. So this is a, the object here that I want to remove. So I'm going to come over and select the clone tool stamp and you notice that we've got uh, an option up here for the, the size of the, the stamp uh, as well and we're just going to set it to a fuzzy and th this gives us the, the best effect. Now the way that the tool works is you have to hold down the, the, the alt key and that gives you a target area. Now this is going to be the target area that we're going to uh, work from so if we click here on the target area and then come over to where our our point's going to be, uh, you're going to see that it's going to copy that, it just gives you a quick flash of the cursor as well, it's going to copy that area sort of onto there. So we can start to build up uh, build up the surrounding area and what I like to do as well is to uh, sort of re reposition the, the cursor as well just to give it a more natural, uh, natural look sometimes. Uh, So you can do it quite quick. I'm just going to work my way through this quite, quite quick here, just to remove this. And you can click sort of further out as well, just to add in a bit of variety in the in the texture uh, of what you're doing. That's what I like to do as as well as just add in some of the the extra extra parts that you might find. This is quite a tricky part up here so we can take the we can take the uh, the selection sort of just a bit further back and just tidy that bit up there. So as you can see that's quite a quite an easy way to do it. This bit's got some got some reflection in it, so there we go. Just tidy that up. Now, as you can see, we're coming to a bit where it's actually got our leg, and uh, we might have we might have a bit difficulty uh, in actually properly uh, properly. Sort of clone using the clone area and making sure that we don't cover over our legs. So I'm going to just show you a quick trick how to how to get round that. Just finish everything off here. Now that looks that looks okay there. Just this last bit here. There we go. That looks fine. So we've got this last part of the stone uh, here to remove. So this is how you do it. You actually select the quick edit. Uh, which is down here, our quick mask tool, and you select the, the paintbrush. Now, you all you need to do is just use the paintbrush and just draw around uh, the area where our went a bit f too far out the edge there. Just draw around the area of where our leg is. So here, and what this does is this. I'm going to mask out this area. I'm just going to draw up here and then come up here and just make sure that I cover all the all the area around here. So now if you come back, switch back to the, the normal edit mode here, you'll see that this area is selected. Now if I come back to the the actual uh, clone tool, clone stamp tool again, and I just continue on with what I was doing, and you'll see that actually while I'm using the clone tool, now the the area it won't go past the the selected highlighted lines. So you can just edit away and knowing that knowing that everything's okay there. Let's give that a bit of a smooth edge there. 
so there we go and then you can select on the selection tool and just deselect that and there we go that's how to remove unwanted objects